This is the latest view of the Gulf of Mexico and its rapidly growing oil slick produced by NASA satellites. And these impressive sea corals, hundreds of meters deep, are now under it. These images were taken some six months ago during a scientific expedition sponsored by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, to study deep sea coral communities. Kaki Andrews is NOAA's manager for coral reef conservation. We've only scratched the surface on understanding their ecological function within kind of the greater ecosystem within the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, clearly, you know, fish like to hang out there, but we know really so little about so many of the coral resources throughout the Gulf of Mexico. You know, they're deep, they're largely inaccessible. Andrews says deep sea coral does not form reefs like those in shallower waters. Studying them requires remote and expensive underwater vehicles. That we are no, are essentially underneath where the sheen is appearing right now. Scientific studies show that coral reefs only make up about one-tenth of one percent of the ocean floor, but they provide a habitat, spawning area, for over 25 percent of marine species. These places are just remarkable in and um, among themselves. It is deep water corals, are some of the longest live living organisms on the planet. Some of these things are possibly over 4,000 years old. Scientists say it's difficult to assess the potential damage to deep sea coral because the spill is unprecedented. NOAA's assistant administrator, Craig McLean, says from observing the video of the oil gushing, it appears that the crude is mostly rising to the surface. It's a relatively new scientific inquiry to figure out what happens to oil when it's introduced 5,000 feet of depth all the way to the surface and how it dissipates, how the natural community of bacteria interacts with it. NOAA scientists have said the type of oil, the period of exposure, and the direct contact with coral can determine how much of the coral will live or die. At this point in time, they cannot make those calculations. For producer Zulima Palacio, this is Carol Pearson, VOA News.